<laughs> what is up guys? Today is a new day and a really good day. I hope everyone is having a good day, a good week. I'm excited for this video. So today I'm going down to the hub, our new creative space with Grayson. We're gonna work on some digital art. I'm excited about this video because in this video I am gonna show you the app that I use on my iPad, kind of the process between that and coloring and outlining and all of that good stuff. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about that. But what I use on my iPad, on my Mac, for illustration, well, today, I'm gonna do some of that. Uh, Phoebe is sleeping, like always. Just wanna say, this video today is sponsored by Logitech. Logitech is awesome. Also, some exciting news, this year I'm partnering with Logitech, which is even better because it's a brand I love, I believe in, and they support creators, and you guys know me, all I do is create. What could be better? So this partnership I'm super excited about, and they've given me like, free reign on a lot of different stuff that I can pretty much just do whatever and create, and they just wanna back me. So thank you, Logitech. I love you guys. I'm excited for what's to come this year. So Logitech sent me some mice a while back. I've been using this mouse for a long time, and I hate using the trackpad on my Mac especially for designing and Illustrator, it's really hard to do so, a mouse is crucial. And I have some cool fancy mouses from uh, Logitech, but you guys know me, I'm always traveling, I'm always going to different places to work, changing up the scenery. My office is always on the go, and so they have this, so Logitech has this new mouse, the MX Anywhere 3, and it's small, travels anywhere, works great. I even painted this one, check this one out. Yeah. I think you guys have seen me use this, but I just can't stress enough how awesome this little mouse is. It is amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm using it in my workflow later today. So let's get to the hub. We're here, gotta take pictures of that. We're here at the hub today. Time to get the video started. Grayson. We are in the new creative spot, the hub down here in Scottsdale. This place is so sick and I'm so excited to be in here working. All right, I wanna show you a couple of things before you get started on the digital art video. This is a mural that I've been working on in here. Video coming soon, it's gonna be sick. Um, what else? Oh, let me show you where we're filming today in the audio podcast stream room. Here we are. Check this out, so sick. Dope rug, I'm gonna set up right here. And get down, let's go. Oh, I forgot, also need to get a photo of this new painting for the Imperial Motion collab that I have dropping really soon. I will let you guys know about that, but new merch with Imperial Motion. Imperial Motion is like a surf, skate, lifestyle company. Super sick, you guys should check them out. It's gonna be a dope collab though. But now, we are gonna get started on this video. So let's get going on this digital art video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the app that I use on my iPad, how I outline, and what I do on my computer. I'm really excited about this video. A lot of you guys have been asking questions about the things that I use on my iPad. So hopefully this answers some of the questions. I'll definitely be doing more of these videos this year, trying to figure it out. If I miss something, drop it in the comments below and I'll make a video about it. The app that I use all the time when I'm drawing right now, it used to be Adobe Draw. I still use Adobe Illustrator on my iPad, but the one that I'm falling in love with right now is Adobe Fresco. Right here. I'll drop a link in the description, you guys can check that out, but I'm gonna be using Adobe Fresco today. Gonna be drawing a new piece of art for a collab piece that I'm working on. Gonna kinda explain to you guys how I go about doing that, the different tools that I use, and my technique with my process. So, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so let's jump into it. Okay, so you can see that I have my sketch on another layer. I also changed the opacity on that layer in Adobe Fresco, and it's super easy to do. All you have to do is tap and hold on that layer, and then you can change out the opacity on the layer. And then I just kind of ink and go over everything. I use the default brush in Adobe Fresco. I don't change anything on it. Um, pressure sensitivity, all that is the same. I like to just keep it simple and work with what I've got. And so kind of, I'll go through everything, ink it all out. A lot of my lines that I use in my art are thick. So what I'll do is I kind of just get a really good base outline of everything as I kind of go through the different things. And then following that, I'll go through and I'll thicken all of the lines out.
I also love how Adobe Fresco, it's super easy to just kind of change your stroke and stuff over there on the left. It's really easy to change all of that stuff. The tools that they've set up on Adobe Fresco are really nice. Also, as I'm inking this out, I just want to share with you guys how much I love Fresco because it is pixel art and vector art. And so it's literally the best of both worlds. I used to only use Adobe Draw and Adobe Illustrator on my iPad. And then I started dabbling with Fresco and I've fallen in love with it because you can sketch and you can also use vector art like Illustrator. So it, it really comes in handy when you're trying to do like mixed media or you wanna sketch something, but it's a lot harder to sketch in vector art. So having that pixel art really helps. Also, as you guys can see this time-lapse going on, something really fun about Fresco is it always saves a time-lapse and it's super easy to just export. So now you can see I'm kind of in Adobe Illustrator right now. I decided to use Adobe Illustrator on my computer for this project because it is for a client and it's really professional. And sometimes when I color in Adobe Fresco, uh, the colors sometimes are hard to change when you export it. If you don't have everything on a separate layer, it kind of gets messy. And then the anchor points on the pen can be kind of hard, pen tool. Uh, it's kind of hard to adjust and get that flow. And so, especially if I'm doing work for somebody else or I know they might need to make changes or edits, I try to do the coloring part in Illustrator. I think it's a lot easier to do. Um, so I'll go on every layer. I have a different color. So each color can be selected. I can lock the colors if I need to make those changes. And it's really easy for someone to go back and just change the colors of each shape. And as you can see, I like to keep my color palettes to the upper left really easy for me to kind of just bounce to the colors that I use uh, as I start the coloring process. That way I don't have to like go eye drop select every time I want to change my colors. I just already have them there, which is super nice. Also, <laughs> I don't know if my coloring, the way that I color is very traditional in Illustrator. I know there's an, a much easier way, but I didn't go to school for this. And honestly, this is served me well for the time being for the last 10 years and so I've stuck with this way um, I know there's faster ways but for now I'm just gonna stick with what I know so if you know a better way by all means do it your way this is just the way I've kind of like taught myself over the years this design is super fun because this design is for Imperial Motion, which is a surf and skate company and I have a collection coming out with them t-shirts and hoodies and stuff like that and so I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys this design as I was working on it for them, kind of finalizing everything. Yes, and the scorpion. I'm gonna start adding scorpions into all my artwork also, because why not? And I live in Arizona. As you can see, I always have a cactus in my art and I'm adding a sun right now because I love sun and I love cactuses. I live in Arizona, there are tons of cactuses and it is always sunny. <laughs> it's kind of like my trademark. There's usually one of those in my artwork at all times. But I hope you guys are enjoying this kind of flow through my artwork. I would love to know your guys' feedback. Yes. Guys, I hope you like that little kind of a tutorial, little how-to video on what I'm using on my iPad, why I love Adobe Fresco, and also how much I love my Logitech MX Anywhere 3 mouse. This thing, I can take it anywhere. It's small, it works great for creative, and it's super comfortable. I'm obsessed with this little guy. I highly recommend you get one. It's always in my workflow. Also, I'm gonna end this video with a fun Instagram Reel video that Grace and I made the other day with the MX Anywhere 3 mouse showing the portability of this little guy. I think you're gonna dig it, so enjoy. Peace.